as we see Phil paddling in this one. Getting things started early to Lado. Nice clean swoop off the bottom steep section here oh, and he has wow. the section. So swift in transition through that carve and again leans on the rail hard and he hammers it. This year winning the bell will mean more than ever. The mid-season cut is closing in with waning chances for surfers to save themselves on tour. He's going to need a big result in Australia to make the mid-season cut. Veterans look to stamp their name on the bell one last time and contenders hope to cement their place in history. As the saying goes, at the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach, you've got to win it to ring it. Just over an hour from Melbourne in the state of Victoria, the beach town of Torquay is home to Australia's surfing mecca, Bells Beach. Every Easter, this small beach town comes alive for the longest running surf competition the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. It truly feels like the backbone of surfing. It's been there before any other event on the calendar and it's still going. It's not a way that you can just come here and just paddle out and rip apart. You know, it takes a well, while to figure it to, out. And this wave has to count. He has to go excellent with this one. Swings the tail around, needs to break combination on this wave. Couple of big turns to start, huge layback. So much speed. Exiting that turn, he climbs up into the pocket one more time. He had to stuff that extra turn in. Talking about four seasons in a day, it goes from hot to cold, offshore to onshore. When it's offshore there, it's beautiful, like those mornings when it's cold and crisp, the waves are rolling into the bowl, it's killer. On a really good day, it can look similar to maybe uh, Jeffrey's Bay, with that hard offshore wind and a low tide. You have to be ready for pretty much anything there. We can move down to Winky Pop as well. Bells and Winky Pop are kind of like black and white almost. Winky pops like really fast down the line. It's a, it's a much different sort of game plan than Bells. Winky Pop it has a very nice pace to it, and it's steep. You can really like open up and do some more innovative and progressive maneuvers. And he whips it. Oh, and right stabs it. Right up into the lip, quickly, wow. aggressive. Bells is pretty much just a natural amphitheater, really. I, I think that's pretty unique. I mean, we don't have, in our sport, that sense of a stadium very often. Top turn arc going down for Sebastian Zietz. Yeah, the stairs are so cool. I definitely remember the first time I walked down there, I was like, well, this is cool. You're definitely walking down those things and feeling some energy from Bells. Just a full rotation, Felipe Toledo. It's been years where the swell has just been pumping and you just see lines for days and you just the excitement builds as it starts to hit the bowl. The definition of iconic Bells Beach would be four to five foot consistent waves. And I'm just looking for that nice wall that allows for two huge carves. And then I'm able to flow and connect to the inside where I finish it off with a big turn. Oh, blow tail carve lays back and pulls it off. The tradition runs deep at Bells, from the sport's most historic trophy to the iconic staircase stamped with the names of past winners. Knowing that every great has come through, it's what everyone fights for, what everyone dreams about. Yeah, I remember sitting on the computer as Rom watching Kelly win there. It was really big, and he did this like, crazy grab rail carve. And then when Mick beat Kelly there, they were just like going at it. Kelly did that crazy air, and that was an insane heat. 